all right guys welcome back to the channel once again in today's video we're gonna be talking about the facebook ads and apis and all the things in this video i'm gonna show you like how you can create the campaigns and how you can pull the details of campaigns ad set and ads so facebook have the table this kind of table you can see into my screen so where your all the campaigns are gonna be loaded and your ad sets related to campaign and ads related to ad set and campaigns so this is the kind of business platform on the facebook side where the people run their campaign ad set and track all the data like how much uh, reach has been done and impressions has been come on the campaigns or ad set or ad and how much data conversion data has been generated let's suppose if someone has bought something so they estimate some kind of data on the basis of their algorithm and then they will show the data over here like how much engagement has been done on that campaign okay so those kind of details so i will tell you about the development phase development part of this one how you can pull the data related to business on the facebook side and if you have some like some kind of metrics that you have defined metrics which you want to pull from the facebook so you can pull it so whatever the difficulty i face from the facebook side that i'm going to be discussing with this video i'll show you by doing the code integration and everything so how you can pull directly from there so there's some facebook uh, business api as well for the node.js people so they can directly pull it from there and also there are some kind of other languages apis as well like for the python and uh, php java so you can pull the details into those languages as well so facebook provide the apis like uh, there's a kind of library that you can install and you can start pulling the facebook details by using the access token otherwise you can use the graph api from the facebook side that is the better way to pull all the details so this is my campaign manager table let's suppose if you have this campaign so let me just give you the brief about this one so if you have this campaign let's suppose okay so into this campaign whatever the ad sets you have created so all the ads it's gonna be loaded over here and into that campaign how many ads are connected with that campaign so all the ads gonna be loaded over here let's suppose in one campaign you can have multiple ads multiple ad sets okay and into one ad set you can have multiple multiple ads first you're going to be having the campaigns inside the campaigns you can have multiple ad sets and inside the multiple ad sets you can have ads so but on the basis of campaign you can pull all the ads and on the basis of campaign you can pull all the ad sets okay so let me just open one paint or something so let me just open the paint so inside that one i can make the chain of that one okay so let me just click on this so let's suppose so this is your campaign okay c campaign and inside this one you can have multiple ad sets like this way this is your ad set one ad set two okay and in ad set okay sorry i'm not able to type properly by just using the trackpad so just so this is your ads which come inside the ad sets over here as well same so this is how chain works for the campaign ad set and ad so it would be easy to understand so that's why so let's go back to the campaign manager table so this is your called campaign manager table so if you have to create one campaign so you have to go by using this one so people keep a track of it by using the utm parameters as well if you don't know about what the utm parameters is so these are the things like let's suppose you want to track something on the death third party application let's suppose you have created some campaigns or ads over here into the facebook and you if someone clicks on that so it will take you to the shopify page like where your product is listed so people are going over there and buying the product so you can see the insights of those that product over here as well and also shopify also provide you the order details and how many purchases and analytics on their side so that you can also track over there but facebook gives you that real data like how many reach has been done how many impressions has been done on the facebook side like if you have seen the youtube side youtube analytics so same kind of youtube google also provide okay so google also have the similar kind of uh, scenario on their business side like same you can create the campaigns over there and you can create the ad sets and ads and you can see all the things into the google campaign manager table so if you see i have the open the google campaign manager table so it's a kind of similar kind it's a similar thing over here as well so this one we can discuss it later let's we are focusing on the ad facebook ad manager so let me take you to the developer.facebook.com okay 
and show you which API you have to call exactly. So let's go into the insights. So overview inside documentation. So this is your insights API, which it has given all the details related to like what API and all the things it has been given. Okay. And let me open the graph api explorer as well okay it gotta be open into the same one so this is your graph api explorer let's suppose in the like developer.facebook.com if you want to call any api so you can directly call it over here okay but make sure you should have the access related to that one like manage the uh, campaigns or ad set so you have to provide the scopes into the integration when you do the OAuth authentication, so at that time you have to provide the scopes, and that scope will that scope will define what data you can pull from the Facebook sites. Okay, so that's the thing. So let's suppose let's go into the campaigns. So I'll show you the campaigns API campaigns. Okay, and add campaign structure. Okay, so this is our structure which I have shown you into the paints campaign ad set and add. Okay, so inside that set multiple ads come, but you can on the basis of campaign you can pull all the ads and you can pull all the ad sets. Okay, so these are the details provided by the campaigns object rem contain the advertising object in one or more ad sets. This help you optimize result measured result for each advertising objectives. Okay. So this is it and here you it has given the API for pulling all the campaigns. So I forgot to tell you one thing before pulling any details from the Facebook site like let's suppose campaigns, ad set or ads, you should have this ad account details because in the ad account where some campaigns will come and inside that like it's a kind of chain thing. So same kind of thing. So before this campaigns, there's an ad account as well. So inside that ad account, you will have the multiple campaigns. So if you see over here, into this campaign manager table over here tech for him so this is your one of the ad account okay and if i open it so you will see multiple ad accounts over here so i can switch into this and i can show you the different different campaign connected to this ad account but you can't have the same campaign into the different ad accounts always it's gonna be different okay so by using this but you can also give the access to different different ad account to different person like let's suppose i have one ad account in facebook and i have to give the access of this ad account to someone else as well so he can also monitor so you can give it by the ad ad account level access okay. or you can switch the ad accounts from here as well so that's how so you first you have to pull the ad accounts all the ad accounts from the facebook site so uh, how you can pull it you have to call the api for pulling all the ad accounts first from the facebook site and then you have to pull all the campaigns so for after pulling the all the ad accounts then you will be able to pull the campaigns because first you should have the ad account id like this way and then you will be able to pull the campaign ad set and ad set so api gonna be same like this way and but you just need the campaigns ad set and ad so you have to put ad sets over here like a d s e t s ad sets and after that you have to put the ads over here so you it will show you the all the ads related data okay and there are some fields you can provide like what fields you want to pull from the facebook related to this campaigns so all the fields gonna be coming which fields you provide over here and into the query you have to provide the access token as well so that's how it will work so there's one facebook api as well so if i show you facebook so this is the facebook api so directly put the github over here so github so Facebook business has to pick it up. So you can install it directly and PM install something and you can start using it into your Node.js project or otherwise uh, you can directly clone this one and see all the scenarios over here. So you, if you go into the source folder, so you will see all the functions over here, like how many functions over here and all the details so you see add accounts so this add accounts you have to pull first before fetching the campaigns okay so this much fields you can pull from for the add accounts only okay and this is that's it so it also call the graph api internally and pull the details then it will display it or like it will send you the response over here so this 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 library also fetch the graph api which is given over here you see this one so all the game of like rest apis which is given by the facebook over here so that's how it is designed so you can pull the ad set like this way 
So you see add account, add sets and you can pull this details like this. One. Same for the add sets, same for the ads as well. So you see add set, ads also are given over here. So you can pull the ads also. So this is the post API for creating like let's suppose if you have managed kind of a scope uh, access into your access token. So you can create also campaign otherwise you will be able to read it only. So scope is given over here like for pulling the camp. So we can you can search it later but let's uh, this is the details you can pull on the campaign ad set and ads now the thing come on the like metrics so metrics like impressions reach those details come into the different api not into this api so in this api you will be able to pull only the static data which currently exists like the status name and all the things so these are not like every time changing once you change it from there then it's gonna be changing but your inside data automatically get changed on the basis of user interaction with your ads campaigns and ads set so that is your insights api let me show you insights so if you go insights over here insights api so you see over here so this is your so this is how you can pull it from the facebook uh, like this uh, library so this is a php and python is given over here but into the node.js also you can pull it so same kind of scenario over there as well but this is your insights api so you see insights so you have to provide the campaign id over here otherwise like single campaign level and sites you will be able to pull it otherwise if you have to pull it on the basis of level of all the campaign related insights like whatever the campaigns are listed so all the campaigns inside so on the basis you can pull it by using this one so you just need to provide the ad account id over there okay ad account id so here you see the ad object id is given so add object id could be campaign id ad set id or ad id or ad account id so ad account id you have to put an insights over here so there's one field called level you see so it levels can be changed so it, if you are pulling the campaign level so you need to provide the campaign over here and then you will be able to pull and here you provide the fields which fields you want to pick so let's suppose in the inside there are so many fields over there like clicks impressions reach actions conversions purchases post engagements and all these fields you can pull it from there so let me show you that fields page there's all the fields are listed which you can pull it directly from there okay. so where are all the fields parameters <coughs> so if you see these are the parameters you can put into the api action breakdowns actions date preset breakdown state preset uh, fields so this is the fields one okay so fields are not listed over here let me just go down below a little bit more yeah so here it is so if you see this is the fields metrics and these are all the metrics you can pull like so account id account name so account id means add account id okay actions actions gonna be multiple actions over here so if you go inside this so you will see some conversion data over there okay conversion metrics otherwise there are some buying type or uh, campaign name so like campaign name could be like if you are pulling the ad set or ad ad related data ad related insights so in that you can pull the campaign name as well so you can pull the all the clicks over here conversion values so conversion values like uh, all the conversion data so whatever the purchases has been done that calls your conversion value post per contact post per sign up post per insights cost per insights and all the things so cost related data so those are called your conversions cost per conversions as well cost per action so these all it's come to the cost per action type so action type means like what how many purchases has been done and cost per action type means like let's suppose for per purchase how much cost should be calculated so that cost value you, you're going to be display, seeing over here into this one okay so these are the other details cost per unique clicks cost per cpm ctr click through rate cpp cost per purchase okay cpm so these are these are the also other value which are required when you see the metrics into the facebook ad manager table okay impressions and also you see some video views as well let's suppose in your campaign you have the video so how much video has been played it was uh, how many users how much video has been placed like so so how many users played 100 percent how many played 25 percent how many played 50 percent and how many cost generated per play so cost per video 95 percent so these value also you will get so this is a kind of object list type 
so inside that you will see the cost data and other data as well so if we click on it so you will see um, so these are the action type which i was discussing on the conversion value so you see these are the action type you will get over here okay so these all are the action type offsite conversion offsite onsite conversion so video views you will get into this contact total contact website so these are the details you will get okay so it depends on how what kind of action has been performed on your facebook ads or campaign so only those details will come not the all details will come into that object okay so make sure like if something has been performed into that one so that detail will only come into this object otherwise it won't come if there is empty value for that one no details will come for that okay if value exists something over there then it will come so like cost per lead your lead type may how many lead like in lead type how many leads has been generated post engagements so all these details so omni purchases so you see some purchases value over here this is omni purchase so this is your purchase value so most of the time people look for the ros value return on ad spent like how much return has been come on the like whatever the spent you have done like whatever the value you have spent it on that ad so ros value also come which is the major part of this uh, facebook manager table. ros is the major part of this facebook manager table which people always look for so if you go into this one so let me close this one so if you go over here so you this is column preferences so this is a kind of dynamic column you can just uh, change the column values column names over here and it's gonna be added over here so let's suppose if i add ros so you see two kind of ros over so i will use this purchase ros okay so if i add it apply my purchase ROS has been added into this table over here so website purchase and simple purchase so there's no any details coming for this ads right now so that's why there's nothing over here as well so if I selected one if I select two so I will see the two campaigns related data multiple ad sets are coming over here multiple ads would be coming over here so you see let's move to this one insights one so these are the metrics which come for the action type and same for the cost per action type as well so you see this is coming for the action type only if we go down below so same it works for the cost per action type but the value gonna be changed it will come into the values like uh, how much value has been generated for the, by using the purchase or something that that value comes over there these are the facebook apis which uh, provides us business related data well like if we are running some ads over there into the facebook so we can pull all the data so in the next video we will do some api calls and we'll see some details like how we can pull it and how we can like how what kind of object we are pulling it and what response it gives and all the things so we will match the data with this campaign manager table and we'll see over there so i hope you guys learned something from this video and thank you so much guys thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next video